Hi, and welcome to today's lesson, Inequalities Solving Addition and Subtraction. When we see an inequality like x plus 8 is greater than 10, we know that the steps for solving an inequality are the same as solving an equation. So I want to isolate my variable x by doing the inverse operation of plus 8. So the inverse is going to be to subtract 8 from both sides. 8 minus 8 is going to cross out, and then 10 minus 8 is going to be 2. So my answer is x is greater than 2. Remember that an inequality is going to have more than one solution, and 2 is not necessarily one of those solutions. So let's make a number line to see all of our solutions. Here we have our number line. We're going to be deciding if we have an open or a closed circle here. And because this is not an or equal to, I know that it's going to be an open circle at point two because two is not gonna be included in the solution. Then I'm going to pick a point that's gonna be on the right side and the left side of this two. Whichever one of these inequality statements is true is going to be the side that I shade. So four is greater than two or zero is greater than two. Well, I know that four is greater than two, so I'm going to shade to the right. Now I'm ready to list some of my solutions in a solution set. Remember my solution set has braces. So three is one of my solutions, four could be one of my solutions, and 10 could be another solution. Remember that my solutions are gonna extend past where I can see the numbers on the number line. So it's gonna be everything on this side of two. Let's try another example. Here we have negative 12 is greater than or equal to y minus nine. So my first step is to do the inverse of what's happening to my variable to isolate my variable. So instead of minus nine, I'm going to add nine to both sides. Then these minus nine and plus nine will cross out. It's important to write your variable on the side it started on. So because my y started over here, I'm going to leave it over there. And I get negative 12 plus nine is negative three, so negative three is greater than or equal to y. Now I'm ready to graph for my solutions. So because this is an or equal to, I know I have a closed circle at negative three, and I'm gonna pick a point on either side of negative three. So I pick negative six, and zero. So I will read to see which statement is true. Negative three is greater than or equal to negative six, or negative three is greater than or equal to zero. Well, I know that um, negative three is not greater than zero, so it must be this one. Negative three is greater than or equal to negative six. So I'm gonna shade to the left, and now I'm ready to write out my solution set. So I'm just going to pick some points that are on this side. Because it is an or equal to, and there's a closed dot here, negative three is part of my solution, negative four, and negative six. Let's look at an example of when you have integers. So when solving with integers, make sure that your subtraction is rewritten as addition before you start solving. So for this problem, nine, or I'm sorry, n minus negative seven is greater than three. I'm going to actually rewrite that as add the opposite. So rewriting this as addition, this is not n plus seven is greater than three. Now I'm ready to solve like normal. I'll isolate my variable n, and so I wanna do the inverse of add seven, so I'll subtract seven from both sides. These sevens will cross out, and I'll end up with n is greater than negative four. And then I'm going to graph this to find my solutions. So because it is a greater than, I know that negative four is not included in the solution, so this will be an open circle. And then I'll pick a point on either side of negative four and fill it in for n. So I have negative six is greater than negative four or zero is greater than negative four. Well, I know that zero is greater than negative four. So I'm going to be shading to the right. Let's recap. Our steps for solving inequality are to step one, isolate the variable. 
Then step two, we're gonna do the inverse operation to both sides of the inequality. And step three, we are going to either read and or graph the inequality for possible answers. Remember when solving inequalities with integers to make sure that subtracting inequalities are rewritten as addition first and then solve. That wraps up our lesson. Thanks so much for tuning in. Feel free to click to subscribe for this and other lessons. Until next time.